Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's get back into it. So we were just at the Geth base. Shepard Commander, we have reestablished a connection with Geth hey. liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. That's good. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. We'll talk later. We will remain here. All right, cool. How about you, Tala? You got anything new to say? I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. How about you, Admiral Ron? The data you forwarded about the Geth was disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Sure, everybody has something to say, don't they? You guys don't have anything to say? Alright, good. Commander, you might want to check in on Commander Williams down on the observation yeah. deck. Okay. The Allied Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Commander? Sure, we got some mail. Status update. 314.20R. From Invalid Extranet Domain. Geth programs in hardware designation. Legion have requested Prime Runtime's update Shepard Commander on platform status. Complying. Prime platforms housed in server 02241-14511 remain stationed on Rannoch. Creator forces prevent transfer of Prime platforms to Geth transport vessels. Cessation of creator Geth conflicts required to assist Shepard Commander designated allies. Awaiting conflict status for update. Alright. From Jacob Taylor. Hey, Shepard. This crucible project is intense. And Bran and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got some time, want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Gellix. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around. Jacob. From Bryn Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, Thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility on Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. 
although I never rely on luck. In this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Brian Cole. Cool. We do good work across the galaxy. So you went into the Geth consensus? Yep. Like virtual reality? Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is a simulation? <laughs> well, we have backup people that would be trying to get me woken up properly, I'm sure. Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth consensus. Do you feel different? It's fascinating. Mind-blowing. I'm also a bit thirsty. <laughs> And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. <laughs> she okay, has Shepard. emotions. Commander. And to think about how she went from when we first met her back in Mass Effect 2. It's changed so drastically. Get down to the crew deck. Get to talk to the crew. How are we doing in here, Ashley? Oh, you're not here. Alright, where are you at? Are you getting a drink? No? Med bay? So, Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay. So, smoking, you ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. Yeah, smoking. <laughs> I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your barnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> that is cruel. You took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? I'd be okay with that. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking, hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. Not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. <laughs> oh, if you see Ash anywhere, tell her I'll save her some. I'm thinking she might need a little nourishment after last night. What happened last night? Yeah, we just needed to unwind a bit. She's a fun girl when she actually lets her hair down for a minute. Uh-huh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not as good as my abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. And maybe it's best I don't know what kind of eggs mm. these are, no? What are you doing with Ashley, huh? Hands off that Ashley. She's my girl. She's too pretty to be with someone the likes of you, James, who has no thought about others whatsoever other than himself. Actually, James is a good guy. He is a good guy down under, like deep down. Hey, Commander. I just hate that Ashley isn't into girls. 
I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me, and I do not care. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. All right. Garris, you got anything to say? This platform can be of some assistance, Garris Vicarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. <laughs> How did you accomplish this? <laughs> A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. <laughs> Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. <laughs> the geth is just trying to help, Garrus. <laughs> but nobody calibrates quite like you. So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. <laughs> not right now. So, Liara? I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Oh, that was Legion. It wasn't Geth. I mean, it wasn't a uh, Glyph. I thought that was Glyph talking. <laughs> It's good to see you. Yara, talk to me. Everybody else talks to me. Why don't you talk to me? Literally everybody else has something to say almost every single time, but you're always too busy back here doing Shadowbroker stuff. Like I've helped you a little bit, just a tiny little bit with your mother. And I mean, like, not a whole lot has really happened with you compared to the others. And I just feel let down, girl. I feel let down. You're breaking my heart. Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project Staff. Dr. Locke, I was working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I've found a solution synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor V-design into your projections. It should have 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'd need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Dr. Cole. Wow. 250,000. It's good to see you. Improved Geth resistors. These schematics were downloaded from the Geth consensus. They appear to be designs for improved resistor terminals and Geth platforms. The schematics can easily be built into human-sized armor, providing the wearer combat benefits enjoyed by the Geth. The resistors can be tweaked either to increase the wearer's damage output or improve their shields. All right. Let's see. So shields or power damage. I think shields. Miniature arm capacitors. This data was discovered and downloaded from inside the Geth consensus. Thousands of these miniaturized capacitors were installed beside armor power cells where they can instantly discharge a stored boost of energy. This boost can be tweaked either to speed up shield regeneration 
or the rate at which tech biotic and combat powers can be used. Hmm. Maybe power recharge speed? Just because it does take a long ass time, I feel like. Shield regen. Shield regen speed. I feel like that could be more beneficial. More life saving in the long run. Alright. Greetings, Commander. Ashley, oh Ashley, where did you say you needed me to go? I forget. Was it upstairs in my quarters? Maybe it was upstairs in my quarters. Let's go check. Captain's cabin. Nope. It is not up inside my quarters. It's not where she is. Engineering? not. Down below. Where is quieter? I just now noticed that there's radiation <laughs> symbols everywhere down there and Jack was sleeping down there the whole time. <laughs> Commander. Power grid is in the green. Commander. Well, Ashley girl, I can't come talk to you to help you if you... If I can't find you. Commander. Down to the shuttle bay? It's the last place. Hey there. Be down on the crew deck. One of the place I haven't checked is the guests or, or the ED server. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. You guys know where Ashley is? Does anybody know where Ashley is? Has anybody seen Ashley Williams? Anybody? What's the chalk was? Have you seen Ashley Williams? It would help all involved if you could barter a trade. Working on that. It's gonna happen. Are you in the bathroom? Oh, here you. Oh, Ashley. Vega's got some eggs ready for you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what have we here? Ma'am, I'm off duty. Your voice, ma'am, not so loud. Please, thank you. I'm thinking no <laughs> on the eggs. No. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I? Oh, my head. It's so <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Oh, maybe 40. I swear. <laughs> Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just 
wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty <laughs> bottle? It's empty. Oh boy. Is it time to test the fire alarm? You know, I think it is. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, ma'am. Two million and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the calm. I hate you. I hate you, ma'am. As you were, Williams. Mmm. Cold floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Loved that so much. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> oh, I haven't laughed that hard in a while. That yeah, was good. Okay, we've talked to everybody now. Now we can move on. Only question is where are we moving on to? So, we have destroy Reaper base or save the Admiral. I imagine save the Admiral, right? Let's go to save the Admiral. So, Tally, this will be on you for sure. And who else should we bring? Ashley? Yeah, why not? Wait a minute, what happened to all my gear? Why is all my gear unequipped? What the fuck? Ah, uh, damn you, Geth server. Wasting my time. Equip everything again. See, its fire rate is so much less, but it has such a higher damage. Well, here, let's change it to that first, and then let's see. And its weight is a lot more. So fuck it, let's go with the higher weight one. Highest weight option, always highest weight option. Yeah. Arc pistol's pretty heavy too. Has a higher fire rate. But nah, we're gonna stick with that one. Play more. Yep, stick with the good old Claymore. Hornet. Bring out the Hornet. And then you guys are good. Yeah, you guys are great. of shot with the properties of active ammo types enabling it to burn, freeze, disrupt, warp, or pierce armor. So what is your ammo type disrupting? So it can disrupt? Okay. I think I might go with this one though. Make it go boom. Big boom. Concussive shot is big boom. And then we can come here and upgrade that. Nice. You can have that. Yay. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Elkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. 
Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalchoris understood mm -hmm. the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Alcor has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen! It's been a long time since Admiral Chorus left a spaceship. Let's hope he's all right. We'll see in a minute. Take us into the tower. Oh shit. Evasive maneuvers! We're taking fire! Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. Welcome to Rana. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We'll keep that one. Got that sound. It's time to hear it again. Some good old shoddy snipes going. Alright. Uh, you don't have any ammo, but you do, Ashley. So you can go ahead and do your Honey. ammo stuff. There we go. On it. All good. Everybody happy? Great. Death everywhere. Civilians in trouble. Remind you of anything? Eden Prime. So much for the Alliance's story about the Geth being <laughs> wiped out. We tried to tell people the real story. But no one on the Citadel would listen to Quarians. Yeah. Listening would have forced them to get off their asses. Yep. I wonder if I had chosen to... I wonder if I had chosen to wait to do Tali's mission until I had gotten Legion as a party member back in Mass Effect 2. So like if I had taken Legion to Tali's trial back in Mass Effect 2, would that have changed the Corian's opinions of the Geth and even more people would be on the side of don't go to war? Or would more people be on the side of these Geth are weak, we can finally retake our homeland and more people be on the side of wanting to go to war? I don't know. I've never chosen that option, so I have no idea. Fuck, where'd he go? I took him out, didn't you, Ashley? Could have been Tali on her claymore. I don't know. What is this? They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Oh shit. Shepard! I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Javelin? Javelin? Uh, I kind of want to try out the javelin. 
Just because I remember something about it, kind of. Let me see. Called the Javelin by Alliance Marines. This Geth weapon holds a reservoir of ferrofluid magnetically drawn into the firing chamber and expelled at lethal speeds. Like a high pressure water jet, the ferrofluid cuts through nearly anything it hits. With so much heat that it resembles a beam of light causing terrible wounds. Shit. So, has a lower capacity, lower fire rate, slightly lower damage. Wait, if we add that, then now we can look at this. Okay, so the Black Widow actually does even less damage, so interesting. So the javelin is just as heavy and it does even more damage. So it's probably more of like a bolt action sniper rifle. Let's try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so we got that. Get your ammos. Get your ammos here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Is exactly the gun that I wanted. This gun. This is the gun I remember that I always loved the most. Cool. Patrol right below us. All right, let's get to cover. automatically whenever it reaches full charge I kind of like that charge up too how do I get down there I got this way like I might be going this way. Yes, yes, dropping in. Imagine what we could do with this much power. Could we take down a Geth or a Reaper group in just two shots to the head using all of our maximum maxed out weapon and headshot damage combined with our go invisible ability to make the shot as powerful as it possibly can be in a single shot how much damage would a single shot do to a brute a uh, reaper brute or a reaper uh banshee i suppose There we go. Had a little bit of some lag there. One at a time. Had to try. Can do that though. Adam. Let's AA look at the guns. Gun Dead ahead. We should be able to disable it. Spitfire. Okay. 
Can't wait to see what this does. Looks like it's a rapid fire gun. So it looks like the path continues on. So we just need to do this then. Because there were two of them, I know. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Tally? You're our Tally, tech expert. You take the guns. You know the most about the Geth than anybody. No problem. So you would know what to do right away. Incoming Geth! Oh yeah, look at that. Get into cover, please. That's what this is for. It's for that big crime. Gotcha. Now let's shut down the two by the tower. Oh, it even showed me the guys in stealth. That's freaking awesome, dude. That was also why I loved this rifle, because it had stealth detection technology. It's built into the scope. And it just highlights guys for you. It just pierces through shit. This gun is amazing, man. I love the javelin so much. Ooh, got technology. And just the name alone, javelin, makes me think it's throwing a javelin, which I think is also like really cool. Just cause I love like Troy and Greek mythology and Achilles and stuff. So whenever I hear a javelin, I think Achilles. Everybody always says Achilles heel and all that, but I don't care. I still love Achilles. He's a badass. I love him more than I love Zeus. Or not, uh, Zeus. Um, Hercules. Or Heracles, as he's known in ancient... Greek and Roman, I believe. Something like that. Oh. We found someone. Looks How we bad. doing, soldier? You... You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with Geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could bite the other civilians' time. Fight some Geth. There, there were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Metagel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive... ...and my son... ...tell him... ...tell Jonah... ...that his father... ...made it... ...to the home. Oh, that's so sad. We will. Rest well, Dornhast Vasranok. Vasranok. Let's get to that tower. He is of Ranok now. The first Corian in centuries to be on Ranok and to have died on Ranok and to have been called of Ranok. So 
though. This is a big area. Question is, do we go right or left? And we're going right, of course, because I already headed this way. Turd is no match for me. Can't let him get close. Only problem is this gun doesn't have a very high capacity. We should be able to disable it. Something tells me we're gonna need to use that gun, aren't we? Something also tells me that I probably am not gonna want to use that gun, so I'm gonna want to use my javelin. Which one of us should shut down the gun? Tally again. I want you on this, Tally. Right. I mean, it just makes sense, right? It's not that I don't... Shepard, you should be able to use the gap's turret. Not that I don't, like, think you can't do it, Ashley. It's just... I think... More Tali down. is more suited. Because she has more experience in the field with this. I didn't need a turret. Really, I didn't need a turret at all. Let's get the last one. Get by the door. Uh. Got him. Or maybe I shot him first and Ashley got him second. I don't know. We'll have to see an instant replay on that. And you just have to reverse the video a little bit to see an instant replay, because I'm too lazy to do that. Which is why I'm too lazy to edit the video beyond, like, barks and loud noises in the background and stuff. And sometimes I'm even too lazy to edit that out. Now, I could edit out the loading screens and stuff, but again, that's just too much work, you know? Bastard, get your ass back here. What? Oh, you little cunt. Oh, you're still working on it? Okay, cool. Disable the gun, Shepard. Tally. I want you on this, Tally. As far as you don't have anything to say about this, Ashley. She's thinking it, though. You can feel her thinking it. She's like, God damn it, Shepard. I'm gonna murder you in your sleep when you aren't looking. Signal the shuttle. Yay. Well, who knew that the Kodiak had weapons on it? This is Commander Shepard. Dorn didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No, the gifts have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. 
My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're gonna end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Do it. Come on. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. And sometimes you just gotta make the sacrifice. For the better and for the greater good. Gas closing in on the admiral! I've got this. We've got to go. There's nothing we could do. You would have died with them. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes. They've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your yeah. people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. I feel like if it were under better circum, like if we had met under better circumstances, we probably would have liked him a lot more and have been friends. But he was a total dick to us and Tally whenever we first came aboard for Tally's trial. That wasn't even about Tally at all. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. They'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you yeah, can ravage no. through gas debris. You yourself said their life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the gas. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover life. Zen, you can always yeah. send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of gas technology. It's not gonna help you I'm right away. To rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. <sighs> I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. How about you, Legion? Got anything to say? Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Alright, I guess you got nothing to say. How are we doing on war assets and everything? Oh, we good. We totally good. We could totally win. But it's still not enough. Commander. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. 
Once again commanded by Admiral Curris, thanks to you. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live yeah, ships have cannons. You've converted them. You think the council? If need be. And in the meantime, you're not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. Moving on. Messages, Commander. Thank you, Trainer. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. Pretty much. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander. My cousin Dorn from Navtil Vas Grigol. Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zal Chorus stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The admiral told me you met my cousin Dorn Hazet on Vranok. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. Yours most sincerely, Captain Navteel Vaskigrit. Hmm. Yep, another meaningless loss in this meaningless war. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently, putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. <laughs> Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep him safe from the Geth. And themselves. <laughs> yeah. Commander. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, well, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. <laughs> Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. <laughs> I mean, come Hello, on, Shepard. That was so easy, right? That one was easy. That one was an easy fastball. That was a slow ball. Ashley, how you doing now? Shall we go talk? You made the right call down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? <laughs> Shepard? That's right. Praise me. I am the best at all I do. Service. Nothing new, nothing new. Feel free nothing to look new. around. Yeah, so you probably have nothing new to say either, do you? Oh no! 
Dad, I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess can not I... all of them. He was talking to his dad. Shit, can I go back? Fuck. I have to. Dad? Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits. Please watch over them. Let me see them again. Oh, here it is. I'm glad I listened to that. I'm glad I took the time to go back. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Maybe later. Keep going down. Keep going down. Why does Liara have so few dialogue lines? Really? Compared to Garrus and all these other characters on the ship, she has so very little to say. It's shocking. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. I mean, numbers are numbers, you can't lie. Nothing to report, Commander. Nothing to report. Good, good, good. Javik, where'd you go? You down here? down at the very bottom. Very itty bitty bottom. Are you back there? No, you're not back there. Shuttle bay. Are you down here, Javik? I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rhinoch. Ah, hit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Hello, Commander. I still can't believe you went inside again. I, I don't even... Loco. <laughs> Completely loco. Hey. You know hey. me. Welcome to the Commander Shepard missions. Where we do the local stuff. So let's try this lounge then. Is Javik in here? No, Javik is not in here. Is Javik talking to Dr. Chocolates? In the AI but synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify yeah. my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense yeah. endangers no one. What rights do you have? Oh, you no. are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? Yeah. You enslaved them. 
We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the oh forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. Mm. You are limited by your programming. Nothing... Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives yeah. more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Right, stop causing problems, Javik. Stop fighting the wrong people. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a <laughs> mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. Also, it's totally not true that AI can't adjust their own programming. They totally can. They can write their own lines of code and compile their own lines of code and adjust their own like ways of thinking. That's what artificial programming is, is a program that can self-adjust and be self-aware of how to adjust and react to situations. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I think in the next episode, we're going to go to the Citadel and then, you know, clean up that whole area. And then we're going to come back and finally finish out the Rannoch a uh, little bit and get Tali on our team. And then from there, we can just probably finish out the rest of the quest and everything. I don't know what's last. I don't know what comes next after we do Tali's mission. Oh well, we'll find out. Anyways, I've been the loving Miss Scarlet Fox, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video.